Hi, it's Hannah, and I've got to tell you something so funny. Okay, so here I am in New York. Yes, I know, hanging on my hotel room party. And I was really excited because I had about three hours when I could sit down and just focus and do some work. And I was actually looking forward to that because you know how it is with moms, you're always interrupted. So, sat down to do some work, and wouldn't you know it, immediately they started doing like drilling right next door and they just stopped so I uh, was surprised uh, you could even we could even get this recording done because they were doing all this drilling so I was like first response was I was like darn it man I wanted I really needed to focus I wanted quiet but you know that's how it's gonna be whenever we set out to do something it could be cleaning your house it could be um, working on that relationship with your kids, improving your marriage, um, getting out of debt, whatever you strive to do. Um, if you are endeavoring for success in your life and you're striving to do what God wants you to do, you are going to immediately come across challenges. Now, they're there for two reasons. First, the enemy wants them there because he wants to steal your joy and he wants to keep you right where you are in bondage. He doesn't want you to experience the freedom of having a great marriage or being out of debt or um, all of those things that you strive to do, okay? He wants to get you back where you are in bondage. Understand um, why that challenge is there. Now, God could easily prevent that challenge from happening, but there's a reason that God allows it in your life, and that's because he's testing you. He wants to see how bad you want it. Is this all it's going to take? to get you off track, to keep you from wanting an abundant life, the life that I created for you to live. So understand when challenges pop up, and they will, especially, especially when you're striving to improve your life, challenges will pop up. See them for what they are. It's a test. Are you going to pass it? Because once you pass that test, you're one step closer to your promised land. Don't spend 40 years going around the same old mountain, okay? Face those challenges, know why they're there, and endeavor yourself, this is not gonna get me off track. I'm gonna find a way around it, dig a tunnel through it, I'm gonna do something because I know that God is with me and he who is in me is greater than any challenge that could ever happen. So, always gonna be challenges, see them, face them, conquer them. Thanks so much. Stay happy. Stay healthy. I look forward to another time spending with you. Bye-bye.